create a new Flutter project to practice using the Flame Audio component. Once we have audio working, we'll roll it back into our Visual Novel application. Change into the new project folder that you just created and run Flutter Pub Add Flame. You will also need to add Flutter Pub Add Flame underscore audio. Flame audio is in a separate package. When you import Flame Audio, you may need to adjust the Android Gradle settings. We'll cover this a little bit later in the video. Let's open up VS Code to start configuring our project. We're going to need some background music files to play within our Flame game. Create the subfolder structure assets slash audio. Download and save the files in the Assets Audio folder of your Flutter project. Get two files for this tutorial. As a challenge, you could get three files and do the third file yourself at the end of the tutorial. In VS Code, you'll need to go into the pubspec.yaml file of your project and add the audio assets to the pubspec.yaml file. So we're actually going to specify the specific audio file, although you could specify a directory. So under assets, type the location of the asset file, assets slash audio slash track underscore one dot mp3. I'm saved the file as track underscore one dot mp3 and track underscore two dot mp3. These are the file names. Make sure that Flutter pub get runs or run it manually. Uh, then we're done with the pubspec.yaml file. So go into the main.dart file. To focus in on the important parts, let's delete most of the code. Uh, we're going to create a new class called my game audio and that's going to extend flame game so flame game is obviously part of flame and that's the main game class and then under the run app section we're going to run a game widget and the game widget takes a parameter which will be the instantiated my game audio class that we just created we're going to override the existing onload method in flame game. This is the basic structure of the onload for most of the flame games. And we'll just keep this structure and then we'll do a test run. So at this stage, most likely when you do the test run on Android, uh, you'll likely get an error, but there's a quick fix for that, which we'll explain. So super dot onload. We can delete the test uh, directory since we won't be covering tests in this tutorial. And then now we can run it and it's running on an Android emulator. So in my case, it did fail and there is some nice information here for the debugging about the build.grader and the a client version or the Kotlin version. So let's go into that build.gradle file and we're going to increase the version number of Kotlin to 1.5.10. So with that, we'll save it and then we'll give it another shot here. We'll run it again. Uh, you don't need to edit the build.gradle file anymore so you can close it. It looks more promising now. Our first hope is that the application will just run on the Android emulator and there'll be no build errors. And it's completely black, which is what we want. So we're going to tap it. So with we're going to use this mixin tap detector on Flame Game so that we can then detect the tap. And when, the, when you tap the screen, we're going to play the music, hopefully. So with that tap detector mixin on flame game, we now have this void on tap up, which we're going to override. 
we can get the tap up info, but we're not going to use it for this tutorial. And we're going to now play the that audio file that we downloaded and saved. So the syntax is flame audio, which is a class that is from flame audio dot BGM for background music dot play. And it's the name of the file. Do a hot restart and test it. Set the volume on the Android emulator to max for this test. Next video, we're going to cover stopping the music and adding additional controls to the music. Subscribe to the channel for the next exciting updates where we learn how to change the music tracks, start and stop the audio, and play some awesome background music. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.